Hi, Tom here from Learning Encounters. I'm back in the lab. Basically, uh, we're going to talk about our diagonal kit and we're going to assemble it for you and uh, tell you a little bit about it. Um, when you get it, it's going to come in a real neat box. It's going to be very well packaged. Um, I have taken it out of the box for convenience for me to put it together for you. And basically, um, it's a 90 degree diagonal kit. It comes with um, a, a real nice uh, objective lens and that, that lens is basically made to go with sky viewer telescopes and Galileo scopes because they need that lens to configure it to give you the range of focus to use the um, diagonal. It will work with any other telescope on the market that basically has an inch and a quarter opening in your focus tube. So there's that. Um, let me talk a little bit about the uh, objective lens. Um, if you're a Galileo scope owner or a sky viewer owner, this is an incredible piece of equipment right here. It comes in the kit. If you're not an owner of one of those scopes, you can also use this for many, many other experiments and um, actually to build your own telescope around. So we're not going to use that right now. We're just going to show you how to put this together. It comes with basically a one-shot Barlow lens system. The lens here is a um, plaza in the back, and then you have a two-element Barlow in the front. The lenses are wrapped up in styrofoam. They're real easy to find, and they're also numbered, so they're kind of easy to put together. You ain't got to fumble around and guess what goes where. I'm going to pull out a couple of the lenses and set them on the table here. These are the lenses that are going to go into your plaza, and basically you'll notice that one of the lenses, if you, this one's numbered one and this one's numbered two, but you don't really need to know that if you know how a lens goes together. One side's flat, uh, one is convex. Basically the convex section slides into the concave and the other convex section goes toward the other side of the plaza. And of course this is the exact same thing put them together and they go convex to convex. So basically what you're going to have is a flat back that's going to meet your eye, a flat forward lens, and in the middle you're going to have the two convex lenses. So you're going to have two bubbles facing one another in the center. Then to put together your lens that creates your Barlow, you have a very similar situation. A lens here with two convex, a flat and a concave. You simply put them together and slide them inside of the holder. Okay, so now just to go over it one more time, what you really have here is flat, th this first lens is flat and concave. The next lens is convex on both sides. The third lens is convex on both sides. And the fourth lens is concave on one side, flat on the other. Then when you're moving forward down your assembly here, this is your um, Barlow system, and basically what you have is a concave, concave. This one here is convex and flat, and that's how it assembles. Now you can see there's one extra slot in here, and what we constantly are trying to do is keep things as dark as we can and focus light throughout the telescope there'll be baffles focusing it to your Barlow. Then we put what we call a field stop in. It slides into this slot just to help us steer the light even a little more, okay? And then we just take the cover to this. We put it on. It just slides together. Okay, now that we have the two halves together, there's just two rings that hold it together. One ring's going to slide over this back section of your lens holder and then of course this one is smooth so you don't damage your eye when you bump up against it and now you have a one piece Barlow lens that's include a four element plaza. Now let's go on to the 90 degree bend. All we're trying to do here is bend light up so you can see by looking straight down and we do this with a reflective mirror. Inside of the unit there's four little tabs. You simply drop your mirror in and you just 
push it down, and it snaps right in. Now, if you get fingerprints on it, like I just did, you're going to want to take a tissue and make sure that you get all the fog, grease, and oil off of your mirror. Then you just simply put the other half on. It snaps together as well. And you're going to get two rings, and they just slide right over either end. You just push them on, and now you have your diagonal. So in order to make this work, you just take your telescope, remove your standard lens. You can put the diagonal in, and now you're viewing with your telescope by looking down. Again, you can use any of your standard lenses in this. This is a 25 millimeter plaza lens that I put in here. Or, rather than build up and add holder versus holder versus holder until you have this long thing, we've created the one piece, which is a barlow that just slides in. And again, there you go. You haven't gained any height this way, and you have a barlow. That's all there is to it. Thanks.